Hi guys, it's Elmer, your fire protection guy. Welcome back to this channel. Today we're going to check a amplifier fault in a Petronix F220A. So let's check what's causing this problem. Now this is an F220A Petronix fire indicating panel. Our problem is we have a system fault, LED mimic warning system. That means we have a problem with the warning system, which is the amplifier. So it provided you with blinking as an indicator of what's causing the fault. So let's count. One, two, let's start. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two. Okay, the first three is telling us that there is a problem with the end of line resistor. So the end of line resistor is already there. That's a 10K end of line resistor. So let's check it out. What we're going to do is disconnect that speaker cable and check if the end of line resistor is still 10K. And then let's try if we can fix the problem. So this is the end of line resistor of the amplifier, 10K. So right now it's telling us it's 10K. So, there seems no problem with the resistor. Let's check further. Next, we return the terminal for the speaker line with an end of line, the existing end of line resistor. So, we found out that we still have some fault. So, what we're going to do next is to remove that end of line resistor and swap it with the end of line resistor here which is also 10k and let's see if our resistor is the one that is defective now we replace the end of line resistor it came from there okay so we plug it in we still have the fault we're going to check for power and uh, very hard to work with one hand so i hope now i will not short this one all right so my power is around all right it's really hard but i check it already it's already 10 volts okay let's try again i'll work it out Okay, there's your power, 10.67 volts DC. So, it's the same power or voltage that we have with the other end of line resistor. So that means there's nothing wrong with the end of line resistor. It is an amplifier problem. So the solution, we have to replace this amplifier. Let's double check. We return the resistor back, we still have a fault, and let's check for our voltage. Our voltage across the line is 10.47, okay? That means with the same resistor that I took from there, so I return that back, we have the power of 10.47 or 48 DC so something wrong with the amplifier so we get a new amplifier from Petronix the supplier and then we replace that and that will be another day so when you're going to leave the site this fire panel will be buzzing more frequently so what you're going to do is you're going to switch off the buzzer which is the buzzer isolate see the buzzer isolate you switch it off so right now it's off and then it's on and then off so that will be disabled for a while until we fix the amplifier problem okay i got this one amplifier which is located in one of my buildings let's check if you see there's no problem or defect leds that blinking everything was normal with a normal led light Let's check the output voltage of this 
amplifier. So that is with the endopline resistor 10K in the field. That's my voltage. So what we're having in the amplifier that's faulty is only 10 volts DC. So normal condition of an amplifier, shall I say monitoring voltage is 27.5. Okay, so 100%. We're sure that the amplifier from the first job is really need replacement. Okay, we're back on the job site. So we have the new amplifier. Let's open it up. So this is the new amplifier. Open it up. There you go. So we're going to replace this new one and get rid of the other one. So before we remove the old amplifier, we're going to check the power output of the speaker line. So at the moment, if yesterday, the other day, it was 10 volts. Now it's 15 volts. So that means it's really playing up. Okay. So we start getting rid of that. So I removed, that's the old one. This is the new one. So there's a pre-amplifier here that I took off and I'm going to install it here. Okay, so this one will put it in, push. Push there. And then, okay, that will be good. So this is for the microphone. And then when I'm ready, I'll put it back where the location of this old amplifier. So let's plug them in one by one with the new amplifier on. Start this off, put it in. Okay, and this is the end of line resistor. Plug it in, and then let's introduce the power. Power in. Okay, amplifier is on. Now we're going to check for the amplifier output voltage in the resistor. Okay, our speaker line resistor power is 27.64 volts, which is that means we have a good output now in that amplifier. So let's hook the speaker on. So the speaker now is on and we have a 27.64 volts. Now we already installed the new amplifier, but we still have a fault in the system. So what seems to be the problem? So that mimic setting is all zeros, but the old amplifier, the setting of the mimic, the first one is breached, that means it's on and the rest of them are off. So we're going to change the settings of the Mimic. This one, number one, we're going to switch that thing on, one on, okay? That will clear that fault for a while. Okay, we just wait for it, it should clear. All clear. So we fix the problem, but there is still an existing fault in the amplifier that blinking. We try to figure that out. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we don't know. We have to check with the supplier what is the meaning of that. Maybe there's some some configurations or setting that we need to do to clear that defect blinking. So it's let's see how many of them. One. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven flashes. Okay, we're going to check that later on with the supplier. Now everything seems normal. So what we're going to do is just going to test everything okay. So microphone. Testing one, two. So microphone test is all right. Let's put it back. And then let's make some noise. 
we are select them and then menu and then we're going to test and then test test the system and let's see if we have what we okay we got that noise that means all good and then we reset everything put the system back to normal clear everything no faults that one we just press menu and that will clear so all good we were able to fix the problem and then we're going to put the buzzer of course the most important of all the buzzer if you're going to put the buzzer to enable it back so it's now enabled so all is good before we end i would like to take note of this one why do we have a microphone switch here what's the purpose of that when the pilot the old pilot panel was replaced with the petronics we were not able to find the end of line resistor so what was introduced is this relay okay because we cannot find the end of line resistor we introduced this relay so the speaker line goes here and it goes straight there so in case the warning system is activated that means this one is enabled this relay will switch on and will have a continuous speaker line speaker line connection so this one is introduced so the amplifier will only see the 10k resistor so the other resistor which we cannot find in the field is connected somewhere and if I put that resistor plus the 10k resistor I'm going to have a fault in the system so that's what's going on that's why this relay was introduced and this switch is as well was introduced so that's a, one of the genius way that was done to avoid defect because we cannot find the resistor the endocrine resistor of the speaker line okay okay guys we already completed our job thank you for watching this is elmer again your fire protection guy see you next time